guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews. We got a pretty cool one here today. We're gonna to be reviewing the 750 horsepower Roush Stage 3 Mustang. And before we start, I wanna give a huge thank you to Baird and the rest of the management and staff here at Elder Ford in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. The staff here is extremely kind and they have an impressive dealership too. I'll leave a link to it below. And if you're looking for a new car or truck in the Tampa area, I definitely recommend checking these guys out. And for those of you guys who don't know, the company Roush has been factory modifying Ford Mustangs and F-150 since the year 1988. That's when a Ford engineer named Jack Roush decided to pitch Ford an idea about twin turbo wing a Fox body Mustang GT making it have over 400 horsepower. And since then, Jack Roush and the company Roush have been factory modifying both Mustang, F-150s and all sorts of Ford vehicles since then. Here we have the 2021 Mustang GT Premium. It's gonna be fully loaded from the factory and we're gonna be adding the Roush Stage 3 package on top of it. What do we get with that? Let's jump right in. So up front, just like the Mustang GT Premium, we're gonna have full LED headlights with these beautiful shark fin style daytime running strips, black headlight housing, contrast this white paint very well. Same with the grill, blacked out grill with a good contrast, Roush Stage 3 logo on the grill. The front splitter also super aggressive. I hope you guys can pick it up on camera. It's gonna have these really nice sharp designs. It's gonna say Roush over here in the center too. Little additional airflow down here, which will help keep everything cooled off. We have the five liter supercharged V8 engine back here. Functional air curtain too. I'll try to show you guys the airflow. On the side, we have our LED fog lights with turn signals too. Really, really massive when it comes to airflow for this air duct on the side. You can really get some air into your brakes and your intercooler and radiator with that air duct. But continuing along, the wheel and tire setup is also extremely, extremely impressive. We'll check it out on the other side because of the glare. But anyway, you see your functional heat extractors up top too. As far as this wheel and tire setup, also really beautiful 20 inch rims. They're gonna be wrapped in Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires. Some of the stickiest tires in the business. The dimensions are gonna be 275-35 R20 ZR20s. So really aggressive compound. You got the six piston Brembo brake calipers up front, massive rotors, and you can see the R emblem on your center cap. Really impressive setup, especially with these lowering springs and Magna Ride suspension. Basically zero wheel gap. This vehicle has a really, really nice stance. Continuing along, more heat extraction with these air vents on the side over here. You get this for the Roush Stage 3. Badging on the side, you're not gonna have the 5.0 badging. It's just gonna have your red and black Roush badge. As far as the mirrors, same thing as the Mustang GT. You're gonna have this nice black and white contrast. The glass, pretty small, but here for the premium, we are gonna get the blind spot monitoring, which is gonna be nice for this pretty expensive Roush Stage 3. Side skirts, all gonna be blacked out, definitely adding to the aggression, smart access for the driver and a front passenger. I'm really liking this crossbar too. That's why I'm choosing to film this with the top down because I feel like the styling is not quite as good with the top up, but that's why you buy the convertible, not to have the top up. You buy it so you can have the vehicle looking like this especially on a gorgeous day right now in Tampa, Florida. It's about sunny and 70, so definitely a thumbs up for the styling. You got your backwards American flag on this side of the car. It's gonna be on the correct way on the opposite side. The reason that they do this is because when a flag is waving, like imagine a flag waving on the other side, imagine it's like a mirror. You're gonna be looking at it like this from the other standpoint. So I see where they're coming from, but it still would be nice to have the American flag in the proper directions on both sides. Uh, but anyway, as far as the rear styling, you can see your sequential LED taillights with a black area in the center. It's gonna be tough to see the Roush badging, but you can see it says supercharged underneath. Shout out Elder Ford in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. Definitely check these guys out. Can't believe they're letting me review this car. Really, really impressive vehicle. You got the Roush license plate bracket, rear parking sensor, super aggressive diffuser. You got the sport exhaust. It's gonna be an active exhaust. I'm still kind of figuring it out because it tends to get quiet once it crosses about 3000 RPM. You'll see what I mean, but we'll start off in tour mode and rev it up in sport and see what the differences are. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the five liter supercharged V8 engine sold by Roush. Well, sold by Ford, modified by Roush. We didn't mention the rear wheel and tire setup. I just noticed we're not gonna have Brembo brake calipers out rear. That's definitely a minus. I would expect rear Brembo brake calipers with a vehicle that's starting around this price range. Same wheel and tire setup too. They're still gonna be 275-35 ZR20. So it would be nice to get some wider compound considering how much power this vehicle does make. But we'll see if it puts the power down to the ground once we take it out for a drive as far as the gas too. 
We have to push to open, easy fill, 93, unleaded fuel only, because it's a supercharged V8, but we'll check out this supercharged V8 right now, as soon as we can figure out this latch, because I remember the Mustang latches are a little bit tricky, but we figured it out. Huge thumbs up for the struts. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous motor. You got the Ford Performance Roush supercharged V8, five liter engine, strut tower braces, cold air intake, you see the red intake right here. More supports in the sides. We get a prop rod too, because remember, the Mustang GT does come with a prop rod, but thank you, thank you, Roush, for giving us some aftermarket hydraulic struts. We'll take a look at the added mods list in one second. We'll take a step back. You can check out the front styling one last time. Loving the daytime running strips. Before we check out the interior, let's see exactly what we get with the Roush Stage 3 Mustang. Again, this is gonna be a 2021, a little bit old, but still an incredibly impressive car. Oxford white paint color. So of course, this is the 2021 Roush Stage 3 Mustang, and we're also gonna get the Phase 2 supercharged V8 engine. That gives us 750 horsepower, larger low temp radiator, auxiliary engine and transmission coolers, diff cooler, Roush calibrated magnetite suspension with lowering springs, performance exhaust with quad black tips, Roush upper and lower grills with the illuminated Roush logo, we're gonna have a ton of Roush graphics. We're gonna have front chin splitter, high flow corner pockets with hood struts. We're also gonna get the Roush graphics, as we mentioned, 20 inch jet black, flow form wheels with Continental Extreme Contact Sport tires. We also get the serial number on the dash, which is also really cool when you get an expensive special edition Mustang. The Sport interior package includes Roush Sport black leather seating with the Roush shifter ball, Roush paddle shifters, or Roush paddle shifters. This vehicle's gonna be a six speed manual, so it's gonna have the Roush shifter ball instead of the paddle shifters. We get the Roush certificate of authenticity, trunk mountain toolkit, gauge cluster overlay, boost gauge two, Roush key fobs, um, all that. We're also gonna get 20 inch flow form wheels, as we mentioned, that's gonna be a no cost option, but the competition package, which gives us the Roush active exhaust, engine based styling, uh, convertible style bar, that's gonna be $2,500 on top. Uh, we're also gonna get the exhaust H pipe upgrade for 255. That's kind of why it sounds so ridiculously insane. We are gonna be hit with a gas guzzler tax only for the manual. That's gonna be $2,600 tax. The stage three racing slash into matte black red accent, no extra charge. Uh, but any, anyway, on top of the stage three Roush package, we're gonna have $5,000 in additional options. The Roush upfit package total is gonna be $30,345. This vehicle already was expensive. We had a fully loaded Mustang GT. It was a tick under 60,000 bucks. After you add on the Roush package, it's gonna be sitting right under 90,000. Still a pretty incredible value as far as fuel economy. It's not gonna be that good. 14 combined, 12 city, 19 highway. That's not why you buy this vehicle. You buy it for the smiles per gallon. And as far as the interior, let's go over to the other side and really check it out and see what we're getting with this near $90,000 ridiculously fast sports car. So as far as the door panel, I'm liking the soft touch up top. We do not get that on the base. Beneath that, we're also gonna get this really nice stitching material, very high quality door panel actually. Surprising compared to the other Mustangs we reviewed on this channel. I'm liking the grab handle, nice quality aluminum, three person memory, lock and unlock, power one touch, auto mirrors of course. And right here you can drop these additional mirrors right over here. Uh, that's better for the door panel, the sound system, very impressive. You got two speakers on the door, illuminated Roush, nameplate, the seats, they're also gonna be Roush specific seats. You get the quilted leather on the bolsters, very nice perforated leather. It's gonna aid when it comes to the heated and cooled function of the seats. American flag, always cool. And like I mentioned, you got the roll bar, which is probably gonna affect the rear seat seating. I will check that out in this review, of course. As far as the interior, let's hop inside and see what we got. So it's gonna be pretty glary because the convertible top is currently down I'll leave it down for now. Actually, I'll leave it. I'll put it back up. Let's see how that is because it wouldn't be fair for me to go in the back seat with the convertible down. That's kind of like cheating when it comes to the headroom, but we can close it up. All you have to do is pull the slatch to the side and hide it away. So now we have a regular cabin without ridiculous amount of glare. We got the windows up. We'll put these up too. But first thing I noticed is the steering wheel. Very similar to just a typical Mustang steering wheel. We'll turn the air down, but I want to. I'm, I'm a mess right now, sorry guys. But the steering wheel is pretty thick. I'm liking the 10 to bolstering notches. It's not gonna be as good as the Camaro in my opinion, but it's still a very nice steering wheel to hold. Uh, pretty nice, you got the controls, volume, skip the songs all on one side. Voice commands, you can control this little heads up infotainment cluster. And since we have the premium GT, we are gonna get the digital display. Uh, cruise control settings over here. We have the music information, overall settings, and the nav horse on the horn as far as the horn itself pretty aggressive sounding horn uh, maybe not the most like isolation with this um fabric roof 
but you still hear the horn really well, people should definitely be getting out of your way. As far as the gauge display, it adjusts based on what mode you're currently in. The mode is adjusted with these buttons. We're currently in Sport Plus. Uh, you can go into track mode and it changes up a little bit too. But with track mode, we lose our traction control. And given the fact that uh, this vehicle has 750 horsepower, I'm probably not gonna be driving it in track mode, but we'll put it into drag strip mode, also not gonna be using that. Snow and wet, normal mode, it should change up here. So here we're gonna have the old school gauges, 160 mile an hour uh, speedometer, kind of surprising. I would expect there to be a slightly higher speedometer, at least for the Roush Stage 3. Tack in the left side. Um, we can also check out Sport Plus. So Sport Plus is gonna be where I'm gonna leave it in this review. Um, we're going to transition between the exhaust modes, but as far as the drive modes, well, we'll start off in normal and then transition into Sport, Sport Plus, and then we'll use track to see how it stiffens up the magnetic ride. Behind that, the wiper stocks, a really high quality turn. You got your lane keeping assist on the stocks. We also get rain sensing wipers. I know not a lot of people are going to drive this vehicle in the rain, but when you're spending close to six figures on a ridiculously fast sports car, it's still nice to have some of these luxury features. As far as the dashboard, everything's going to be a stitch material. I'm liking this carbon fiber trim oil gauge boost gauge too we have our eight inch touchscreen down here very responsive as far as the navigation turn this volume down so we're not going to be hit with copyright but as far as the navigation screen pretty responsive is not going to be nearly as responsive as the 12 inch screen in the new f-150s that screen is genuinely one of the most impressive screens in the business that i've reviewed so far but this eight inch screen really good visibility i'm liking the display as far as like the backup camera we have to lift up this thing push it all the way to the left drop it forward and you can see very good resolution not the best resolution we have 360 sensing no 360 camera um it would be nice to have on this vehicle but wouldn't really be expected on a, even a fully loaded mustang gt good resolution guidance lines into trajectory pretty impressive we can put it right back into neutral um, but that's about it for the screen satisfying clicks with the dials actually really satisfying clicks you can also skip the songs here if you don't want to use your steering wheels or your passengers can use that heated and cooled seats dual zone auto climate you get the hazards right here engine start stop you can turn off your trash control adjust the steering weight and you can drive the drive modes right over here usb port beneath you have your suspension partner magna ride with the bwi group beneath it pretty nice quality badge definitely makes the interior look a lot more unique 12 volt because you're probably going to want a radar detector in this pretty fast 750 horsepower sports car six-speed manual with your roush shifter ball it's going to be a short throw shifter or relatively short throw compared to the mustang gt that we've already reviewed in this channel really really nice shifter i'm impressed it's not going to be a tremic unfortunately that may be a reason to go with the higher trims uh, but it's still very fun to shift hopefully if you buy this vehicle the manual the transmission treats you right uh, but next to it we have our active exhaust so you here we have touring mode makes everything a lot quieter we have sport opens things up and track track and sport you really don't hear any difference at all so i'm just going to leave it i guess in track for the purpose of this review once we start driving one thing i notice is once we cross like 3000 rpm the exhaust like automatically quiets itself down not quite sure why it does that but maybe you'll see it during this review maybe you won't maybe it'll figure itself out either way still a really impressive car this area is also going to be rubberized soft touch with the stitching for where your knee will often hit really high quality interior guys real e-brake of course six-speed manual as far as the glove box let's pop it open and check it out so not the most space i would expect you to fit uh, probably five maybe six cans decent amount of space you have a usb port you have an additional 12 volt in there as well more than enough as far as the glove box it's gonna be damped pretty large we have our window sticker original window sticker from this mustang gt too so if you guys want to pause check it out as far as the original window sticker you guys can pause see everything that was offered as you see fully fully loaded it even has the performance package so you got the 373 gears banging olufsen 12 speaker sound system it sounds insane guys really fully loaded car Fifty-eight thousand bucks base price then you throw on all these options with the supercharger you get all the performance cooling goodies this car is insane. I can't wait to take it out for a drive. Let's hurry up in here. Close up this glove box. You got your nameplate for the Roush. As you see, this is the 199th Roush Stage 3. Jack Roush Signature 2. Pretty cool. It really feels special in here, especially for the front seat. As far as the pedals, you can check them out. They're going to be aluminumly plated with some rubber grips. And you're also going to get a dead pedal, too, with some aluminum on it. Really nice quality. To the left, we have our fuse box. You can open up the trunk, the lighting controls. We have the automatic headlights, of course, and the fog lights that you can turn on or off uh, the trunk latch is going to be in the corner to adjust the steering wheel it's not going to be a power tilt and telescope which is surprising for a fully loaded mustang gt if you want to tilt and telescope the steering wheel the latch 
to adjust the tilt and telescope is going to be on the right. Up top, I'm really liking this frameless mirror. It is really easy to see out of the rear, much easier than compared to like my Camaro. The garage home link settings, lighting controls, and of course the button to open up your convertible top. That's about it for the front seat, guys. Let's check out the back real quick, see how much space is offered back there, and then take the 750 horsepower Roush Stage 3 Mustang out for a drive. All right, guys, before we hop into the back seat, one thing I just noticed, I was a little excited, I didn't pick it up before. Uh, we're not gonna have a power recline for the seats. You're gonna have to recline the seats with this latch, unfortunately. Not the biggest deal, but for a vehicle in this price range, it would be nice to get fully power seats, at least for the driver. But stepping inside, it's gonna be really tough because, again, it's a pretty small sports car. And, wow, I actually didn't smack my head against the roll bar. I was expecting to do so, but okay. So putting this thing back to its original, seat settings i got literally zero space back here my head is in the ceiling um you're probably gonna smack your head against the roll bar a couple times too legs zero space and that's in my comfortable settings as a driver and i drive pretty close um to the pedals when i'm driving a manual because i want to be able to push the clutch down all the way so this is closer than what i would be sitting in my camaro so really really tight back seat back here for the convertible especially with the roll bar not a big deal though it's not what you buy this car for the back seat's gonna be mainly reserved for trash people that you don't really like and just small children that's about it though for the interior on this roush stage three let's check out the trunk real quick and then take this car out for a drive all right guys so to step into this trunk you simply pull this little button on the bottom and the trunk opens right up i always hate using this little trunk still to open and close the trunk because it leaves fingerprints i remember i had a 2014 mustang and that was one of my biggest complaints of the fingerprints on that little panel not the biggest deal let's check out what's in here i haven't seen this yet so this is gonna be a surprise to me just like you we have a tool kit pretty nice to have you have a tire gauge uh fix it flat kit nice to have and it's going to be labeled roush it's not going to really take up too much space either we are going to have quite a bit of stuff so it's not going to be the easiest to tell how much space we have uh we are going to have a subwoofer which makes this bang and olsen sound system even more impressive the rear seats fall down if you fold the seats down and angle a tv properly you could probably fit between a 45 maybe a 55 inch tv uh, but that's about it not the most impressive cargo slightly more than the camaro not much the opening is going to be where the cargo kind of shines over the camaro if you want the best best space go with the challenger but the challenger still doesn't really have that much trunk space if you want to have a usable trunk in a practical performance vehicle that's when i would start recommending the dodge charger so the trunk space the back seat space we, get, we know that's not what we buy these vehicles for the reason why people buy this vehicle is to drive it and speaking of that you can hear the exhaust tips rumbling let's take this car out for a drive all right guys now we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this stage three supercharged roush mustang let's take it out for the drive it's the moment we've all been waiting for at least the moment that i've been waiting for and we'll start it off in um we'll start off in normal mode and then transition into both well just sport plus and then maybe track to see what the overall differences are but stepping out the clutch definitely different compared to the regular gt they definitely made a different clutch for the roush stage three it doesn't really engage as quickly it engages towards the top and as soon as it starts to engage it's gonna basically be just that anything after the initial engagement kind of useless so you have to be really careful when it comes to the engagement point i'm not the best when it comes to explaining manual transmission feels uh but it does feel like this is like a staged clutch it kind of needs it since we are going to have a huge huge power upgrade compared to the regular five liter mustang close to 300 horsepower extra but speed bump in normal mode are we in normal mode it looks like snow and ice no we're in normal mode okay so second gear Ooh, so smooth and that's like barely any gas pedal really smooth low end torque you would have no idea that this car has supercharged and we're gonna have the automatic rev matching too Ooh. yeah this thing is i love the way this car sounds we're in normal mode the exhaust is in track let's throw the exhaust into tour mode and see if it quiets down we have a small speed bump right here we'll slow down hear the rev match in a second it's pretty cool yeah it's quieter but not by much we'll throw it back into sport because it's a lot cooler in sport mode sounds really really good Shifted into the second gear 
and just lean into the gas pedal. Wow. This thing can really, really fly. That was not full throttle. Sheesh, this thing can really move. And that's all just in regular, normal mode. We haven't thrown it into Sport or Sport Plus, but once we step out onto this road, it should give us a better opportunity to see what this vehicle really got. All right, guys, as soon as we have the opportunity, We'll make this left onto this road and just try out a smooth acceleration. See, it's very easy to drive this car smoothly. It's very easy to know what gear you're in. The shifter's fantastic. The clutch, once you get used to it, it's really, really smooth because although it doesn't engage right away, most clutches don't engage right away, but once you get like a little bit past the halfway point, it has a really good feel to it. And just leaning into it a little bit. That torque is instant. That's like 2,000 RPM. Tiny, tiny bit of throttle. And it just pulls. And in normal mode, when we drive over the bumps, you still feel them a little bit. We'll try it out in Sport Plus and see if anything like stiffens up. The steering feels about the same. A little bit of wiggle on center. Not even close to as responsive as the Camaro. But once you really get into the steering itself, I feel like there's just as much, if not more, feel. Uh, we'll downshift in the second gear on the gas. Yeah, that's where this car really shines. On the brakes. <laughs> Throwing it in. Sharp steering. You have a ton of feel. It's just not quite as on center as what you would get in the Camaro. I think it's better than what you get in the Challenger. I do prefer the Challenger steering wheels. They have fatter tendons with bolstery notches. You can throw it into the fourth gear. Uh, but the, with the fatter tendons with bolstery notches, it just feels better in your hands. Drop it back down. Second gear, one more time. Wow, guys, this thing, I can't even begin to explain to you in words how ridiculously fast this car is. Um, we can't even use like the gas pedal that much. That's like half throttle. I don't want to make the wheels spin. I don't want to waste the tires for the potential owner of this vehicle. But we'll step out onto this highway, um, try a second to third pull, and then get, get this car back into Elder Ford's parking lot because I've had, I've had more than enough fun in this car. I hope you guys pick up how truly, truly impressive this car really is. I'm going to throw in the POV camera, try to give you a first-hand look driving it, and then I'll catch back with you in one second. All right, guys, stepping back out here in the Roush Stage 3 Mustang, we'll try out an acceleration run onto this multiple lane highway. We're obviously not punching it in first gear because you know exactly what happened if we did, but second gear, we'll lean into the throttle and transition to third and just really see how this car can accelerate whenever this traffic clears up. All right, guys, stepping back out over here, lean into it in first. Second gear, lean. Ooh. Wow, guys. Yeah, <laughs> this car can flat out fly. And throwing it into sixth gear, um, we're just sitting around like 1,000 RPM, 1,300. It calms down really well. And with this supercharged motor, you have a ton, a ton of torque. One thing I noticed though, there's a little bit of like cabin drone because this is gonna have an H pipe. It's gonna have the upgraded Roush mufflers too. And as, as good as it sounds, even in six gear, you are hearing a little bit of drone. But okay, so we are gonna have the rev match downshifts, third gear. This car is truly ridiculous. We catch up to traffic way too quickly. This car is unbelievably fast. Whew. And the low end torque, it's impressive, but I would expect the supercharged V8 to feel like it had a little bit more low end torque. Like this is fourth gear. Oh no, yeah, it, it still pulls, yeah. Even in fourth gear, it pulls. Whew, we get to speed so quickly. Those rev matches are something else. Whew. All right, guys, third gear, we'll try a light pull. Whew. It's just so, so fast. Other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video a tenth as much as I enjoyed making it. Truly unbelievable car. The thrill that you get when you step on that gas pedal, it's truly something to experience. I would 100% recommend anybody looking to buy a sports car, check out the new Mustangs. If you get the chance to drive one of the Roush Stage 3 Mustangs, GT500s, all the GT500s you cannot get with a six-speed manual. So if you're looking for a six-speed manual Mustang with over 700 horsepower, 
um, you're gonna have to go with the Roush Stage 3, and I would definitely recommend at least checking it out. Huge, huge thank you to Elder Ford here in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. Unbelievable dealership. They actually have a decent inventory despite the shortages right now, and they have an unbelievably kind staff. I would definitely suggest anybody looking for a new car or truck in the Tampa area to check these guys out. Other than that, guys, huge thanks to all of you for watching. I really had a fantastic time making this video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe if you've already subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really have a true appreciation for each and every one of you guys for your constant support. Uh, but again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Also, leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific vehicles you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope all you guys have a great day.